Princess Unicorn for Christmas because I think that Princess Unicorns are awesome. All right, children, I know you're excited about Christmas, but it's time to lay your heads down and get some sleep. Sleep? Sleep? Mama, there's no way we can sleep. Santa's coming. Yeah, we want to stay awake and watch for Santa. There are a lot of children looking for Santa tonight, but there is something much more important about this night. What could be more important than Santa? I'll tell you what. Lay your head down and I'll tell you a story, a true story, about what Christmas is really about. And if you listen really hard, you just might hear your name. Our names? Is this story about us? Um, no. Well, <laughs> yes, in a way. Just lay down and listen. Okay. A long time ago, God created the heavens and the earth, the plants, the animals, the stars and moon, the clouds and the sun. He also created a man and woman named Adam and Eve. Mom, what does this have to do with Christmas? Just lie back down and listen. You'll see. <gasps> Everything was perfect and God was very pleased. Adam and Eve had only one rule. Don't eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If they obeyed, they could live forever in peace with God. But if they disobeyed, they would die and be separated from God. Well, they disobeyed and they ate the fruit. You mean like when Gabriel ate that cookie when you told him not to? Then he got spanking. I told him not to, but... <laughs> yes. Yes, Joy, just like that. But you see, when they ate the fruit, it caused a problem for all of us because sin had been introduced into God's perfect world. And now all people would be born sinners. So now, how could people ever again live in peace with God? Mama, I'm thinking this isn't such a great bedtime story. Would you just lie down and listen? You'll see. God had a plan. He would send his son, his one and only perfect son, to take our punishment. And then all those who put their trust in him could be saved and live forever in peace with God. But he had to come in a very special way so that everyone would know that only God could have done it. And that is where our story begins.
the city of Nazareth, there lived a young woman, a virgin named Mary, and she was engaged to a man named Joseph. God sent an angel by the name of Gabriel. Gabriel? An angel? I thought you said this was a true story. Joy, it is a true story. Lie down and listen, you'll see. The angel came to Mary, and she was very scared. But the angel told her not to be afraid, that she had found favor with God, and that she would give birth to a very special child, and that she should name him Jesus. Mary didn't understand how that could be, so he explained that the Holy Spirit would come upon her, and the Holy One to be born would be called the Son of God. When the angel finished speaking, Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be as you have said. Then the angel left her, and when he had gone, Mary prepared to travel to her cousin Elizabeth's house in the hills of Judea. Now it was some time later that Joseph had fallen asleep and had a dream. I remember. He dreamed his brothers were stars and were bowing down to him. No, not that, Joseph. This was Joseph the carpenter from Nazareth, the one Mary was engaged to. Anyway, in his dream, Joseph saw an angel of the Lord, and the angel said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. This was so Joseph would know that the child was to be the king of Israel, the prophets of the Old Testament had spoken so many times of. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel commanded him. Not long after that, a decree went out from the emperor for all the people to be counted, and that they were to return to their family's town to register. This meant that Mary and Joseph had to take the long trip to Bethlehem because he was from the family of David. Thank you. 
journey to Bethlehem was a very long one, down the mountains to the River Jordan, along the Jordan almost to its end. Yes, Joy, that is your name. 
Now both of you lie down and listen. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the angel was saying he had good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. You will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly the sky was filled with angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth, good will to men. Thank you. 